Can you drive a race car on the streets legally? I know you can do it illegally, but I want to find out today. Can I put a plate on my car and drive it on public roads and highways? Take it to Starbucks, all that good stuff. Now, I'll be very, very clear right now. I don't want to convert this to a street car. I don't want to change anything. I simply want to drive my race car on the freeway should I choose to do so. And apparently, there's a way. And in this video, we're going to go to the source to find out is it legal or not. And that is the California Highway Patrol. We're going to load onto the truck right now, head over there and ask them, how do I get a plate on this car? Now, to be specific, this is a GT4 570S factory built race car. It wasn't converted from a stock car. At the factory, they built this car on the streetcar chassis, which means it's very unique. In the fact that it has turn signals, brake lights, headlights, a steering wheel. It is basically a street car that at McLaren, they made it suitable for the track. It has a regular transmission. It has an exhaust on it. It has catalytic converters on it. All it doesn't have is airbags. So is there a way around it? Let's find out today. Maybe we'll find out right now. It seems to be cops coming up right now, but I think he's driving through. I want to get this car on the trailer right now. Mike gets here, head to the CHP and find out what's going to happen. I actually don't know. I know that people in Florida and Texas drive them on the street, but I want to make sure it's actually legal, meaning liability. I want to get insurance on this car, third party liability, comprehensive collision, so that if somebody hit me, I'm protected, or have a bit I cause an accident, I'm not going to be liable for the damages to people and or their car or their property if I put it in someone's living room. So in the meantime, the boys are going to put it on some jacks, spin it around, get on the trailer, and then go to the cop shop. Tim, yeah. what are the odds that we can get this car registered today? I feel like it's very unlikely. Why? I don't know. How are they going to... I mean, you don't have any paperwork, do you? It's a VIN number. Oh, I guess that's good enough. What do you think? Can we do this? Get a plate on this car? You're going to CHP? Yeah. They might just try and send you a DMV. I feel like they're just gonna send you in circles, man. You think so? I think so. Nobody's gonna wanna, nobody wants to take the responsibility. Now this car has a VIN number. The only downside is, well, it's not there in that spot. But I know it has a VIN number. Actually, do you know what? Is there a VIN number in this car? Have you guys looked? Uh, I don't know. Oh, I don't, uh... If you have a kit car, they can assign you a CHP VIN number. So maybe they can assign one to the car. Yeah, usually I... like they have to verify this. So it's the v, uh, CHP VIN verification, they yeah. have to verify it but right now there's no VINs on it. All right, I'm sure there's a VIN somewhere. Yeah, if we could find one, maybe. Step one, let's find a VIN. On the firewall, but everything's... Can you just, was that right there? there it is. It's right there. But that's not like a, an actual VIN. That's like McLaren's serial number. Fudge. Yeah, usually it'd be on, on the firewall. So these cars were sold by McLaren USA to be a track car. As far as I know, they do have VIN numbers. Now I bought this through race cars for you and I have paperwork, I don't have it with me, but I have a bill of sale for the race car. But I wonder if it has a VIN number on there. To F7's point, I don't see a VIN number anywhere on the chassis, which is very concerning for my prospects of driving this in the street. You find anything? No. Really? I found a cage number, but that's a... Uh... Yeah, the cage has a serial number and a cage number, which is hilarious. I don't really think this through. Yeah, dude, I don't know. Typical Dave DD fashion. We're gonna take a minute, we're gonna search the car. If it doesn't have a VIN number, then again, I mentioned earlier that they can assign a VIN number through a CHP for kit cars. Because if you build your own kit car at home, there's no VIN number. So maybe there's a loop around for that for this car. And the search continues for our good friend, Vin. Can't find Vin, man. Vin! Well, the good thing is you have a full exhaust. Yeah, there's like cats in here and everything. Is there no VIN on this thing? Damon's race car has a VIN number, doesn't it? Full VIN number on the, on the actual lab reading. Now this one's full race car, sequential, full cage, no turns of nothing, Mike. You, there's no chance. But this has everything but a VIN number. Hey, Mike Asso. Good morning, Mike Asso. We're trying to find the VIN number on the McLaren so we can get it registered today. Can you drive a race car on the street? Like, what are the provisions? Have you heard of this before? California is obviously going to be probably one of the most difficult states to do this Come in. Come on, man. You're killing me. It's California. But it's, it's got everything except airbags. It has turn signals, brake lights. Even if it has a VIN, I don't know if it really matters oh. because it was never registered. When it was sold from McLaren to the owner, there is no like pink slip on a race car. So if there is a VIN, it's not in a system anywhere. It's basically a number that doesn't matter. CHP would actually have to look at the car and call it like a special construction car and then give you a CHP VIN number. Perfect. Yeah. You've got problems, he has solutions. All right guys, without further ado, we're gonna load this bad boy up, head the CHP, and hopefully with some luck, be able to get this done and then drive on the street. And I mentioned to the audience, I don't wanna convert it to a street car. I'm not gonna change anything. I just wanna drive a race car on the street. Should I choose to do that? Yep. Because the car is cool. Yeah. It's a 570. All right, now it's time to load up the uh, 570 GT4. There might be some issues as far as, uh, when this car has never been on Mike's trailer before. See how that goes. Luckily, this one's a little bit easier to load than the Evo 2 because slightly higher. So if you guys remember from Laguna, it didn't really want to start, but what I, what Mike and I think it was, was uh, <clears throat> somebody pressed the fire button. Some liquid got into uh, the electrical, but it should be dry now. 
I don't know nothing, man. I just blew metal. Oh, I thought Sean was an electrician. <laughs> That's a good one, dog. Tim got jokes. All right. Oh, it was flashing. Did you see that? Who wants to bet money if it'll start first try? Mark, five bucks. Here, Sean, come and start it. It's that big red button right there, right? No, not that yeah, one. Yeah, that one. Right? Not that one. <laughs> this one. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Now, let's take this thing to the streets. You trust him right now? Hell no. There's not much steering angle. That's right. back. I'm starting! <laughs> It needs to be louder. Sure. It needs to be louder. It sounds really good, but <laughs> I agree with you, Tim. Yeah. Like, we should not be able to have a conversation right now. Right now, it's too <laughs> it's too much ambiance. <laughs> so, people might not believe me, but I told Sean that we need the wood on both sides. <laughs> now we have wood on both sides. Because, you know... <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, car's on the trailer, but uh, it's not actually going to fit with the doors here, so you guys are going to have to come out of the window. We're going to time you. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. Quick! Quick! Whoa, 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 whoa. Everything fell. <laughs> I right, made it. Tim, yeah. you got a 7.9. I have a handicap. There's a steering wheel in the way. But you know what? This would be how it would be in real life if the car was on fire. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one. Fire, fire, fire! Ah. Leave the fuel pump running. Bang! About six seconds. The winner. All right, car's loaded, and I emailed the company and got a bill of sale. Now, the bill of sale, unfortunately, there's Garrett. Garrett's coming. What's going on, Garrett? Hey, hey, hey. I knew you were coming, but I think you'd be here in time. You want to see something cool? Check this out. Yeah? You ever seen two step on an NA, bro? <laughs> I remember, I remember the late 90s. <laughs> I had a Type R Integra when I was like 21. I remember I was like, it was so fast I was scared of it. I was like, this is, this is insane, guys. You don't have no idea what you're missing, man. This is insane. Cool yeah. car, is it? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, look at the smile on his face, though. Dude, there's nothing better than this. I don't think Garrett knows where we're going today. Did I tell you what we're doing today? No. We are taking the McLaren GT4 to the CHP to try to get a, a registration VIN number for it. Because the receipt, I looked at it, there's no VIN number on the receipt either. So the, the only That's way they're doing it is they have to actually assign a VIN. But they do that, right? They do. I know they do it for hot rods, like custom, like Cobras, builds like that, that are like a tube chassis car. I, I don't know all the rules though. I think it's possible. Is it possible for an ex-felon to go to the well, CHP? I wanted to bring you as a distraction in case things go south. I'd be like, he's a felon. He'll leave me alone. <laughs> I like that. Can we look up my history too and make sure? Will they let us? I don't know, maybe. I got priors. Yeah, we'll make sure like some of it fell off maybe. Do you want to ask him to find out? Yeah, we should. <laughs> <laughs> what did Gary go to jail for? Let's find out in today's video. Let's go. Tim, what are you doing? Knock that off. Sorry guys. Let's load up and uh, head to CHP. Launch it! Hey now, NA two-step. Drop baby. it! Drop the clutch! You want See the launch to? control. It's got a posse. <laughs> Bro. Yes, I get it, you guys. We need to get a proper trailer. We're working on it. I know it's hilarious. We put these $100,000, $200,000 race cars plus $500 trailer. But Mike says he has it because no one wants to steal it. Dude, how epic is this car? That's why I really want to drive on the street. I want to drive around this thing. Take a tenant on the roof, tenant along wheels. So I didn't know this. Garrett's never been in the squad of Dorsey before. <laughs> There's no dual clutch in the squad of 
Forza. I like it. Snappy. So we have a VF engine and supercharger, plus 780 horsepower in this bad boy. It is all wheel drive with the old school style, so it's mostly rear when you're on it, and it's single clutch. But it's Lamborghini, the Gallardo's final alliteration of the E-Gear. Only one that's- Hey, you like it? There's only 50 in the world. 50! There's only 50 in the world. This guy's rich. That's his race car too. That's a McLaren an actual race car. He's gonna try to see if he can put it on the streets. I'm trying to get it registered. Like to take a driving class to, to own one of these? No. No? No. He's just naturally talented. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> I like look, you're holding the camera and vlogging. This is brilliant. Oh, the gears are longer than Not that, Dave. Not the fastest car. No. Not the fastest car, but definitely the most engaging. That's why I sold my Aventador S to get this car back. Oh, I could see that. This is a, it's a way different experience than Aventador. It's pretty dope. Oh shoot. Uh, Down for us, don't let me know. Uh, Tunnel rip. Uh, it's still like surprisingly smooth though. I thought like, cause in the Ferraris it's like boom, it's hard. It's, it's, it's clunky, this is precise. Man. Yeah, it's, yeah. But it's fast. stopping grounds here at the CHP. It's funny, I always get nervous when I go to the police station. Like, I know I didn't do anything wrong. Like the principal's office when you're in high school. So I'm sitting here. Keep your hands so I can see them. <laughs> what are they so far? Good, man. What are you doing? Nothing just because I'm back going home and I saw the DVD and I'm like, oh, it's probably him. Damon bought me this race car and I want to know if I can get a, a VIN issued for it so I can play it. What do you think the odds are that CHP will do that? California? I don't think so. What do you think? I was hoping you'd be more positive than that, man. <laughs> can you go talk to them for me? Do they know you here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they know Garrett, I'll tell you that much. So I'm wondering if I can just talk to these boys, grease the palms a little bit. But maybe we'll be ending right now, I don't know. Are they looking at me? Yeah, he's pointing at you guys. Was he pointing? Yeah. Oh God, <laughs> you better get out of here. <laughs> nice chatting with you. Yeah. We're here at the CHP station now. Gonna unload the car. Personally, I don't think there's any way we're gonna get this car registered in California. It's a tight fit. Oh. Tell me when you're ready. All right, let's see if it starts. Good, it's all factory exhaust. This car, if we get a VIN number today, the next step is we have to get a smog check. As far as I understand, it's all factory, so that won't be the issue. Once we have the smog check and the VIN paperwork, we go to the DMV. Now, DMV, I guess down here is a big thing, like you have to wait all day for that. So that'll be a marked job. I think if we have the VIN and the smog, we get a temp reg and get it plated pretty quickly. Who wants to go in and talk to the CHP about this? It's your car, Dave. <laughs> I did it last time. It was your car. That was your car too. What? You know these guys. What? Do you get nervous? Uh, Are you a little bit nervous right now? Right. It's funny. While I'm out here, no. But the second I see a uniform, yeah, it's like got certain feelings. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. You could be a nurse. <laughs> so I want to hear from the team right now. What's the over under that we get a VIN number today? No. Hundred percent no. Yes. I'll, I'll go with my friend, yes. No. Why, why do you say no, Tim? Yeah. Nobody has come out to help us yet. We it's like a fucking 7-Eleven, man. It's not a car dealership. They didn't pull up to the drive through window yet. You gotta like... Yeah. I'm gonna go go I got a customer, I'm gonna go greet them in the parking lot. So they didn't want to do an upsell. I guess the next step is we just uh, go inside. Good luck, Dave. All right, guys. Hey, if I don't see you, just, I got a good bail guy. It's a pleasure. McLaren race car, and I want to see if I can get it registered to drive on the street. But like you guys can issue a VIN number or something for it, like a like a like a kit car. First, you need to make an appointment. Oh, I do. To verify the number, 
It doesn't have a VIN number on it. It doesn't? I've been looking, I can't find one. Thank you. Oh, Zach Brown. Zach Brown, I met him. Super nice guy. I got a McLaren race car I bought, and I want to see if I can get it registered to drive on the street. How it's possible. Have you gone to India? No, it was my first stop. They told me to come here for a VIN check, but I can't find a VIN number on it. Yeah, there's, so the VIN check would be my point of and then from there. It's a factory built McLaren race car. Do you want to come see it? It's right out front. I want to see it. So give it a simple here. Yeah, because he's all there with the only thing. So I would email here, kind of explain what you mentioned, and then I'll answer what they have to touch with. Okay, cool. Thank you. Appreciate it. You too. They told me I need a VIN appointment. I told them there's no VIN number, but they won't even come outside. Really? I was like, come look at it because I don't want to look at it. No VIN number today, huh? Well, so here's the confusing part. He says I have to contact this thing to do a VIN check. Yeah. But I told him there's no VIN number, and he goes, there has to be a VIN number. I'm like, well, there isn't. He goes, well, there is. I'm like, we can look at it. I'm not going to come look. Okay, so what do I do? I, I looked for where the number would be, and it says VIN number etched into the carbon fiber tub as well behind the passenger seat. It's not there. So I don't think this tub went through like the streetcar line where that would happen. I think they get pulled off the line before that happens. So I did find another number on there. That's German. It's so Austrian. An Austrian company must make the tub for McLaren. Yeah. I thought McLaren made their own tubs. Carbotech. Got the tub number and who makes it. ID number, but it doesn't have a VIN. But then again, like I know there's guys with hot rods that are custom built like tube chassis cars like the Cobras that get a VIN stamp that says literally like California Highway Patrol VIN stamp. I think we have some bureaucracy to deal with now. Generally not trying to waste time. I generally want to drive this car on the street. I think you just drive it on the street and then when a cop pulls you over, say that you tried to do your due diligence and figure this was the best <laughs> way. Garrett's been to prison. And there's a reason why Garrett's been to prison. Yeah. <laughs> Four Decision making tactic. Risk Do first, first and ask, ask for forgiveness later. Why'd you buy a race car, Dave? Damon bought it for him. <laughs> it was, it was forced true. into his life. Thanks, thanks to the president, Damon, you piece of shit. They were driving the streets. <laughs> now it looks I'm like joking. we need to get your Bentley even quicker because that's where you can make your race car, but it's already cleared for the streets. Well, we came, we tried, we failed. Why not enjoy it? I'll take my car for a little drive. I would've driven the car one time in the parking lot of the shop. So I'm gonna take it for a drive in the uh, police station parking lot, my race car. So that's something. That's what I tell the grandkids one day. Daddy, how do you go to jail? With maximum effort. No, I seem disappointed right now. I'm not. This car is amazing. It's a track car. It's just a track car and I have to understand that. I just had some hope that maybe it'd be possible. But it's not. So, like I said, make the best of it. Time to book a track day. And Mike and Jamie had to drive it. It's Ricky Bobby! It feels so tight in this car, which is why I really want to go right now on that freeway, just go for a drive. And I think once I have my first track day in this car with Mike, I'll be able to experience it, but I haven't driven the car yet, so I have this amazing car, and I'm super pumped about it, and I just can't freaking drive it for a scheduled track day. But I can drive it up the ramp, right? Yeah, will you, uh, will you be able to get out of the window? No, I'm probably chase bots. All right. That was easier than when we did it. Why is that? I'm a ramp specialist. I always know where to put the wood. I, I blame Sean because I was driving and then Sean was like, wait, I gotta get the jack. So why did he get so long to load this? That was really easy. He's like, oh, this big long thing, blah, 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 blah. You guys did it in five minutes. I've been dragging this Bentley build out, right? I want to build the Bentley, and you guys like, Dave, you're not building the Bentley. Tomorrow I have an appointment with a few dealerships to go Bentley shopping. Tomorrow I am buying a Bentley GT. Tomorrow. I don't care what it takes. You're gonna get one tomorrow? Tomorrow I'm buying it. I have financing in the US and Canada arranged. I put a big down payment on it. But, but Eurocar, Lauren has a bunch of them. There's a few in Beverly Hills. Can you come tomorrow? I'll shop with me. Today you're gonna get one or tomorrow? I can't do it today. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow we're doing it. We're doing Bentley shopping, then I have to order the kit. You found one without red interior? They all have red interiors. <laughs> Every one. It's at what level of red do you want? If it's a black interior, it's not the model in respect, so it's really plain. If it's all red, then it's burgundy, it's awful. If it's not red, then it's dark blue. I'd rather have some red than dark blue. So I found a few that have like 50-50 red. But someone in the audience was like, Dave, why are you being a little bitch? Do a custom interior if you need to. Yes. So E3 down in Florida, 
But anyways, tomorrow we're shopping. Tomorrow we are buying a Bentley. <laughs> and I'll turn that into my race car that I can drive on the streets. I don't need anything from you guys. I shouldn't yell. I don't need anything from these guys. Jokes aside, they're just doing their job. And they don't want to be on camera. Which is fine. He's got a weapon! He's got a weapon! <laughs> He's not a cop. He's a mechanic. Taking an L on that one, guys. I forgot I drove here. Oh! I'm not sure if you saw the last video, but they have to renovate the back room. It's gonna take a few months. And we're debating right now relocating. So there's a new location. It's a lot involved in this. It's not a simple decision. I've talked to the landlord, negotiate terms, look at other options, moving permanently. It's a big pain. Speaking of location upgrades, our friends at Happy Jewelers expanded. They're twice as big now. And I haven't seen it yet. So right now, we're gonna hit the traffic on a Friday afternoon in California to go check out Happy Jewelers' brand new location. And we're bringing the gold Lamborghini to a place we can buy gold jewelry. It's gonna be a hell of a drive. I bet you it's an hour right now to go probably 15 miles. What are you eating? You got a bottle of water and a bag of chips? I got a bottle of water. Hold on, hold on. I got a bag of chips. Wait for it. I got the oh, tried no. and trusted Ritz. What else we got in there? That's don't see have any prison wallet. That's all. Is that a real thing, by the way? What? Prison wallet? No. Oh. No, you don't have pockets, man. Well, prison wallet first here. Oh, you gotta go. This shows you how much I've heard of that term before. You gotta be on the right yard for <laughs> I'm our cops. Look at this. Blocking the intersection. Wow. Where are they going? Somebody is gonna lose their inventory in a minute. Yeah. The traffic's pretty bad. Right now it's so bad, it's faster to take the side roads than the actual freeway. So we're taking Magnolia, like 16 miles all the way to Anaheim. Happy Jewelers is in Fullerton, which is very close to Disneyland. Fun fact, I have not been to Disneyland in like 15 years. I need to take my kids to Disneyland. Will someone please finance it for me? I'll buy you tickets. Dude, Disneyland is like you have it's like a three-day thing. You oh, can't what? just go for like two hours. There's so it's so big. Even in California, it takes two or three days to experience the whole thing. People are mad at Disney right now because of the Elon Musk thing. So uh, yeah. tickets might get cheaper. Oh holy What? Holy sh Okay, okay, I mean, it's a little bigger. Happy just got a lot bigger. Dude, how, when did you guys open this up? About a month ago. Holy. So before that, we used that door. Yeah. And the store ended where? It ended probably like right here. Right there. So this all the way back over there is new. So now you're saying I can buy a watch and not have something <laughs> touch my butt. Exactly. Yeah. Which is, which is, which is, like, you weren't really complaining before. Though. I wasn't. As long as it was You can still do right it. You just got to ask. Like, you should have asked now. Right, right. Yeah. Still the column, by the way. That's sick. That's sick. All right, let's get the tour. Go. Oh, yeah. Wow. You guys have expanded. It is huge in here. What's up, buddy? Dude. What's going on in here? Oh, and big, big time. This is big time. It is. What'd you do? We just knocked the wall. You see that? You see that little line right there? I see that little line right that there. Line. So the store was from there to here. Our next door neighbors, we, we literally told them, hey, you know, we're expanding. You gotta be really nice. Can you move down three stores down? And they did it for us. Really? Yeah. So how many more square feet did that add on? Another 2,000. So the front is, you know, a thousand feet bigger and the back is a thousand feet bigger too. So that means you can have more inventory, more inventory, you can have more services, and you expanded the back as well, so you can do a lot more in-house things here. Yes, we can do a lot of in-house. Let me show you. Come yeah, on. please do a little tour. We'll yeah, think through the know. camera here. It is crazy in here. If you guys have been here before in person, it was always very tight. It was intimate, but now it's a bit more room to breathe. Yeah, a bit more room. This is the interworkings here. Oh, 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 oh. Look, Santa's playground. Yeah. Wow. Hey, everybody. Setters. Oh, 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 oh. How are you guys? How are you? Good to see you. Same day. Good to see you. Same day. Polishing. Same day. Sizing. Same day. Everything. Is your blood check done, yeah. Garrett? Do you let them? Do you let them sleep? They, yeah, they do. They do. Yeah, definitely. Oh, let them. Yeah. 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 Wow. There's too many things happening here right now. We got Marisa right here. Hey, how are you? Good looking. Good. Good. good, thank you, man. You doing your taxes right now? I'm doing my taxes. Oh, yeah, I'm looking good. That's it. <laughs> so you do engraving here now? Yes. Yep, in house engraving. So, watches. what kind of stuff can you engrave? We could do watches, bracelets, uh, necklaces, uh, anything you want. This is a break room? Yeah, break room. It's a little late in the day for a break, isn't it, ladies? Yeah. Oh my gosh, what huh? a This is a break room? Yeah. All right. Taking a little 10 minute break. Oh, so, how's the uh, new shop? You guys like it? I love it. I love it. I think we need more space already. Probably. We also like content. Congregate together though, because we don't know. Dentist happens. office next door. Yes. Yeah. Kick him out. We yeah. need it. But then the more you expand, the more people come, the more you have to expand again. 
Make more money. I see the coffee cups have not improved, so there's opportunity for improvement there. I'll talk to the boys <laughs> about special machines. More money, more problems. Microwave, same as the old one. We all have a trash one. can in here. Yeah. Either. We still have our mini refrigerator to put our lunches in. Yeah. And this really, really sturdy table yeah, here. Yeah, table, there's, there's some room for improvement. I'll talk to the boys. Thank you. You guys enjoy your break. So I'll talk to the boys. We gotta upgrade the coffee machines, man. Huh? We need to get an espresso maker in here. Oh, oh my god. So you do in-house servicing now on your watches. How long have you been doing this for? 35 years. Holy. Without training. training. Without any training, four just self taught? Year, five years, 40 years. He was a self taught doctor once. That's when we went to jail. <laughs> but that's really impressive. I'll, I'll stay out of your way. So, being vertically integrated means offering your customer better service by having everything in house. So, before the watcher gets shipped away, now it all happens here. Smart move for you and your customers. Yeah. It's a lot easier to, to keep track of everything. You got a call yeah. center right here, by the way. Oh my God. I hear the, the 56 yeah. came. What was going off? Inventory. Inventory, inventory, watch service department right there. They keep track of all the watches that come in and out. JJ runs our social media. Good job, JJ. I love you, buddy. He does, he does a great job. Ty just got here. Hi, Ty. He's uh, being trained to do more inventory. What is this? Shipping this is a secret this is room here. That ships everything for you. This is the diamond inventory guy right here. Oh, it's took his up, pocket. But yeah. Uh -oh. But you know, <laughs> Did you break your arm shipping? Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Oh. So he shipped so much I'm Black sure. Friday, he broke his arm. <laughs> That's a serious thing. Literally. So oh, every item guy. you get throughout the whole, we do worldwide shipping, by the way. Do you really? Yeah, 250 boxes a day. Items from $150 to $1,000. If I want to buy a present for like my illicit girlfriend and I want to ship it to her, is there still time for Christmas? Yes, there is. We make it happen. So a few cheaters out there, <laughs> get the side piece of action here. But jokes aside, order online. You don't have to be in California and they take care of you. They do a really good job. There's so many rooms now. Is this the old exit? Yes, this was the, yeah. Remember we didn't Move this. Yeah. Okay. No, okay. And these are boys. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I know where we are now. You remember that? Throwing me off, man. Yeah. Well, good job, Happy Jewelers, you guys. You know what to do? It's Christmas is coming. You buy yourself a watch because you're selfish, and then it's your little uh, lady friend a toy. And it's bracelet rings. There's so many options here. Actually, I recently got engaged to my fiance. My ring came from the boys here at Happy Jewelers. That's it. And I also got myself a chain while I was at it. You can't give something without taking something, right? I want something yeah, too. That's... Garrett's bought stuff here before. Hey, good time. How's the timing? Happy Jewelers the best. The best. Hands down the best. I work with a lot of other jewelers before, wholesalers all that kind of stuff. Nobody beats happy. No one beats happy. They're also happy guys. So, hey, we're here to pick up Garrett's car. Unless he got repossessed. Yeah. <laughs> Garrett, you got new wheels. Huh. We're doing the reveal now. Let's do it. Oh, it's all thanks to Harry. How What's up, Harry? How you doing? So, Garrett. Romance me, what'd you do? So most people do like a chrome lip with like a white insert so you can bounce it off of the chrome. So I figured why not switch it up and do a big white ceramic flat white lip with some chrome inserts. Boom, there it is. I love it, dude. I actually yeah. love it. Yeah. Yeah, no, it looks really good. Chrome face of the three-piece wheel with a white barrel. You're missing some center cap. What are you doing for center caps? I, I, I'm usually the guy that doesn't rock center caps. No, you, you gotta rock. But now I, I hand them off to Harry in about a week or so, he'll get them back Just to get OEM Lamborghini yeah. ones. Oh, it looks that, the best. It looks the best. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, that always. Like, so don't even do chrome, just no, pop in OEM. No, Lamborghini oh, ones. So the problem is with no cap is you had that Rusty lug, basically. Yeah, now it gets the chrome. It's, it's but dude, it looks really good. Now you have the time of brakes, thank God. Because if you didn't, this would be hell. But because you have a six ten, you have the proper brakes. Well, and on top of that, we did ceramic coat. Did you? So it'll help, yeah. So anything that dusts off, just shh, yeah. spray it down, boom, you're good to go. Yeah, I know. I think it looks really good. So Garrett obviously has this awesome wrap, which I'm glad he's left the same. The wheels suit his personality. I, I will vote to remove the 67, the Lamborghini logo, November, and this. I, I vote to remove right that. Yeah, it's, it's awful. It's awful. And Damon's not even here right now. He'd be giving you harsher feedback. But I was saying to Garrett in the car, sell your GT3 RS, because Porsches are boring. Get a supercharger, and then roll with a supercharged crew. So I have my Squadron Corsa, supercharged, kb 4 b car, supercharged. I'll supercharge this car. What do you guys think? And Skinny will have the only NA V10. I, I think that's a, but, but what, what would you guys do? I mean, honestly, do you really get rid of a Porsche just to have a supercharger on a Lambo? I don't know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> but you can't deny a Lamborghini. I mean, look at it. It's a Lamborghini. It's the best. Car. Yeah, it's classy. Garrett, you are so LA now. People watching that don't live in LA. This oh, is yeah. LA right oh, here. Oh, man, this I'm guy, the fit, the car, this is LA. <laughs> LA, baby. LA, baby. <laughs> do the LA, give me an LA pose. How do you do the leg right here? <laughs> uh, do I, don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You got to pray. You got to pray. <laughs> your hands up to your face. There, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 